If you're struggling to print out your Canva product labels at home, then stay tuned as I guide you through the process of setting up your labels for home printing. And make sure you stick around to the end where I'll share my top printing settings to help you achieve the best possible results. So let's get started and put an end to your home printing struggles once and for all. Now for this video, I'm going to assume that everyone has done their homework and found the correct label size for the product and already designed it. If you haven't done that yet, I suggest you check out this previous video on how to find your label size and design it. You can find that video in the description down below. For my product label, I've already created a design at 3 inches by 3 inches, which will be printed on every label paper. You can use another brand of label paper and the process would be just the same. To get started, I'm going to locate the Avery template for this specific label paper. In my case, the template URL was located on the package. Once I've located that template, I'm going to download the PDF version. With that file now downloaded, I'll open up Canva and create a new design. From here, I'll click on Custom Size and make sure the project is 8.5 by 11. Then I'll select Create a Design. With my file open, I'll locate that template and drag and drop it into my canvas. You'll notice the template is now uploaded into projects and not uploads. To add the template to your canvas, just select it and it will appear in your project. Now with that template in place, go ahead and open up your label design, select the whole design and copy it. Go back into your template project and paste it into one of the labels. I'll adjust it until it looks correct, but now we need to extend the background a little past the label. Essentially, we'll be creating a bleed. This will ensure that our label does not have any white paper areas when removing the label from the sheet. So I'll just select the background and enlarge it by selecting any of the four handles. Once I have the first label resized, I'll just copy it and paste it into the remaining labels. Now with my label sheet filled up, I'll come to share and save this file for print by selecting download and clicking the PDF print. Now select flatten PDF and choose the color profile to CMYK if you're bougie and have a premium account. If not, then select RGB and your printer will do its very best to compensate for the difference. Now it's time for the fun stuff. Fire up that printer and load your label paper facing downwards and then open up your print ready PDF. Open up that PDF and come to file, then print. Now depending on your printer, this window will look completely different. So refer to your printer manual for more details on how to achieve the best printing results for your printer. In my case, I changed the page handling to actual size and the paper type to glossy. I'll make sure it's printing at the best quality and then I'll hit print. I'll then let that sheet of paper sit for about five minutes while it dries. Then I'll just peel off one of the labels and slap it onto my product. And now as promised, here are my top tips for getting the very best printout for your label project. Make sure you change your paper settings to the correct label paper you're using. Different papers absorb ink differently, so choosing the correct paper setting will set you up for success. Make sure you change the printer quality. Most printers are set to a default of normal or fine quality. Changing that setting to best or photo quality will enhance the printouts. Max out your printer's DPI. Change the setting to 300 DPI or print at max DPI. This will ensure that your final label printouts come out super crispy. And my last tip is to make sure you run through your printer's cleaning setting. Cleaning the nozzle head and aligning them will ensure that your printer is primed and ready to produce the very best prints.